Aloha, welcome to my home sweet grass shack here in Hawaii. This is my mommy and we are making pie crusts for the holiday season. Pastry what? crust. Pastry crust. I Pretty think excited. that we've already taught you how to make the nut seed crust and this is actually flour pastry crust. This is gluten free flour and this is spelt flour. The spelt flour will be made with butter, with real butter. And the gluten free is going to be made with coconut oil. Very Hawaiian style. <laughs> So take it away, Mom. Where are we the beginning? The trick with making pie crust is to have the ingredients really cold. So the, the coconut oil, this is solidified, and the butter is still hard. Dum, and dum, dum. we're using ice cubes in the water when we put the water in to the crust because it keeps all of it really cold. And then the coconut oil and the butter opens into the um, flour in the pastry when it's... Um, <laughs> when it's baking, so it makes your pastry crust more flaky and more light. So Love it. here we go. So Allison, you can take the the butter and just start crumbling it like cornmeal. So you're just going to crumble it in. Don't and forget I'm to wash do, your hands. Wash your hands. I'm going to do the same with the gluten-free flour. So we're just going to crumble. So if you can see here, Ooh. just kind of crumble it like this. I'm so it's crumbling too, in. Mom. Yeah, crumbling. you're crumbling too. So you want the butter to be hard and then Yeah, you and you just and the heat of your well. fingers will distribute it somewhat, but you don't want to mush it too much. So oh, you you're coming into crumble, mine. Crumble, crumble, crumble. Coming into mine. So you're going to make it kind of like cornmeal. See crumble. I mean your crumble. <laughs> See? Pick it up and crumble. Crumble it up so it kind of looks like um, crumble. It sounds like a dating app. Crumble. So the butter actually crumbles right into the flour. <laughs> I love it. Like cornmeal. The coconut oil is bu is bonded. bonded in, bonded in. So this is gluten free with coconut oil. This is spelt flour, which is a really kind of a yummy alternative to just pastry flour, and, and a little butter for you with butter. Which you know raw butter is actually really good for you, contrary to popular belief. There's a uh, good fats, good fats to be had. It's just all the processing that makes. Okay, now I'm gonna start fats putting a little bit of ice water at a time in here and start to move around to make a ball of dough for the crust. So you can see I just put a few tablespoons in to begin with and I'm using the heel of my hand and making like a little ball like this. Do you want to hit me with some of that ice water? A tiny bit more maybe. Teeny tiny bit more. Let me see how this is first. Get it distributed all through. I don't think she trusts me with my mm. butter distribution. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be really crummy. You know, <laughs> just crummy. This is crummy. It's crummy. Okay. Crumble, crumble. Oh, yeah, that's better. Feel I it? feel it, yeah. Feel it? I'm feeling, feeling it. I'm feeling it. So take a look here. It's kind of crumbled all yeah, I, in I, there. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. See? Yeah, the crumble. Okay. It just crumbled right in. Yep. Now, now we go for the water. Ooh, Niagara Falls. Okay, so start mushing it together till okay. you make a ball. I'm mushing, making a ball. Ooh, ooh. It's really like cold water. It's okay. It'll, it'll condense okay. into it. When it's super hot out here in Hawaii, this is a great activity. <laughs> cold water, high crust. Okay. Ooh, what are we gonna make? So I have pie? also on my cutting board here some more gluten-free flour, so I can take my crust. Uh, I have my hair in it. <laughs> no! <laughs> hairnet, people, hairnet. This is like the surfer version of making pie crust. Okay. Okay. So we have this gluten-free crust and the little bit of flour on the cutting board, so that it doesn't stick and then we have our <laughs> famous rolling pin rolling pin which is a pelican water bottle water bottle they're awesome that is this. awesome actually for, for keeping your your beverages hot and cold and also for rolling out your pie crust so i'm just going to use this for my pie crust roller because <laughs> we love pelican we love multi-purpose items. We love multi Plastic bottles Look at bottles this, it's making a pelican. Our it's, look at this, it's making a pelican sign right so, on our oh, front. 
I always like to use a reusable water bottle and then I just keep them around as a rolling pin, a pillow, a back cracker. <laughs> so here we have this crust getting going here. It's a good workout. Mm -hmm. Hiya! Mm. Oh, yeah. So we're going to play with this a bit here to put it into the crust. Oh, mamma mia! I'm going to gently oh, try to pick it up here. Okay. See how this works. This will work. Mm hmm. Oh, look at you. No. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> it's okay. We'll get it. Well. We're going to have to rename you Miss Martha Stewart. Sun's out. Well, if you blast off, it's firing. <laughs> and the boys are Thursday hungry. Saturday will be. <laughs> They're talking about surf. <laughs> We're making the fuel for surf, boys. Oh. <laughs> Look at how pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm filling in the gaps. There's a hole in your pod. There, mommy. I'm going around the edge, do a little crimp here. So do I roll this baby out now? Yeah. So spread it's, out. How is it? Don't well, handle it too much. That's perfect, actually. So you have enough for two crusts here. Okay. And break it in half. Okay. And <laughs> spread that out. Okay. So now doing the butter spelt spread <laughs> pie crust. Spreading out the spelt flour. This is so it does not stick to your surface area. And I'm gonna take the Itty Bitty Pelican bottle. You might have to put a little flour on it. And then we go like this. So it doesn't stick. So my reusable water bottle rolling pin. Then you just go in for the, go in for the kill here. All right, here we go. <laughs> Oh yeah. Uh-huh, see? That's what those surfing muscles are good for. Mm. Hey, we got a crust happening here. Meow. Aw, mommy. Beautiful. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator and keep it nice and cold before we make the filling. So these are gonna be made into pumpkin pies. Hmm. Hmm. Beautiful. Coconut oil and gluten-free flour. Voila! Meanwhile, back on Allison's cutting board, she is still trying to roll out her dough. <laughs> Four hours later, cut. Meanwhile. <laughs> I'll help back you. Back help. help. I'll help you with your other one. Okay, bring it on over. Is this acceptable? Yeah. Okay. So now the process is how do we? How does this come up? This comes up a little easier than the gluten free one. Oh yeah. yeah. And then you can just start. It's kind of like spreading Africa it. or the Big Island. <laughs> you can start or Texas. spreading it out. And if you don't have enough, I can share some. Oh, that's so sweet. Okay, so we can keep pushing it up over the sides, and we'll get the other one going here. It's tanked. Push it, push it, be good. Dun, dun, dun. Oh man, that is a beauty. Beauty and the beast. Right? Um, so this is what you do when you push it up on the side, you gotta get it way up. Oh. So that it comes high enough. Oh, okay. And then you just do this, and make a little tweak. <laughs> you just make a little tweak? Yeah, like that. Make a little, little get down to that. It's gotta come up all the way up. So the trick is not to try to handle it too much and then get it in the fridge so it chills off again. Mm. And then when you bake it, it'll be light. I might need some... Mm -mm. Mommy. Mayday, mayday, we need a piece right here, mayday. Go ahead and take a piece. Piece. Take a piece. Oh, look at that. Rolling, rolling, mm. keep those bottles rolling. Okay. Is this pretty enough? Do I need Amazing. to make it pretty? Yeah, do the edges pretty. Okay. You take one thumb and go out and one in. So you just go around, out, in, pull it up, out, in, pull it up. There. Hmm. Look at how pretty that is. Mom, you're like Pie Picasso. Okay. 
then we take the spelt butter pie and you put it in the refrigerator to keep it cold until you fill it up with lots of yummy stuff. You try to find room this time of year in your refrigerator. Right? You're going oh, for the wow. yeah. second one here. Perfect amount for two pie crusts. Because we like magic. We like the magic that we go, wow. Mom, should we make pumpkin pie? Should we make avocado? So you need about a cup and a half of flour for each pie and a half a cube of butter or the equivalent of coconut oil. Here we go. We got another one happening. Oh, I'm going to get mine so we can get a picture together. Okay. <laughs> You can add a sweetener to the crust if you want. You could add some honey or some sugar or some maple syrup. I didn't in this case, but oh, so we have the gluten free and we have the gluten, gluten free with coconut oil and spelt flour with butter. Pie crust. Organic butter. Pie crust. Pie crust.